Hey, it's Brian here from Tracks in the Box. Akon Digital recently updated their excellent restoration suite to version 1.6. In this video, we're just going to go over the features that were updated, so to see the full restoration suite, check out the previous video, which is linked to in the description. Okay, first we're going to take a look at version 1.6 of Denoise. Akon says that the new algorithm is more transparent and produces less artifacts than the earlier version. So let's put that claim to the test. Put on some headphones so you can really hear the noise here. For this example, I've got a pianet with a ton of noise. The pianet's great because it's percussive, but it also produces a number of different timbres, so it'll really test this algorithm. Uh, there's a lot of noise on this, so much noise that you probably would throw this take out and start over in real life. But uh, let's see what we can do with denoise. Here's a quick sample so you can see what we're dealing with. Pretty bad. I'm going to throw denoise on here. Now there's two different ways that denoise can work. If you have a bit of isolated noise, you can click on Learn from Noise and play back the isolated noise until denoise figures out what it is that you don't want. Then you click on Freeze Noise Profile and the plugin will only remove the bad part of the audio. If you're not lucky enough to have any isolated noise, Denoise still has your back. By clicking on Adaptive, Denoise will listen to the audio and figure out what's the noise and what is the good part of your audio and just remove the noise. So let's test out that method first because that seems like the harder trick to pull off. This is just on the default settings here. First of all, we don't need so much attenuation, so I'm going to turn this up a little bit. That'll help with any potential artifacts. We are getting a few artifacts here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the emphasis filter, which looks like a parametric EQ, but it's actually a variable threshold for the entire frequency range. Just give this a few tweaks. sounding pretty good to me. That's without. And with. Good stuff. Okay, now we're going to test the first method that I mentioned, which is to let it sample the isolated noise, and then clicking on Freeze Noise Profile so it knows what to remove. Play it back now. This was before, and after. Nice and cleaned up. Okay, now we're looking at version 1.6 of D-Clip. According to Akon, this new version is able to restore audio material that's much more severely damaged than the earlier algorithm was. So to test that out, I came up with a really bad example for it here. This is a piano that, as you can see here, is totally clipped off flat in the loud parts. And let's see what that sounds like. Mmm, crispy. And let's see what D-Clip can do. This is another new feature they added. It's the Detect Threshold button. You just let it play back, and when you get to the crispy parts, you click on Detect Threshold, and it will set the threshold for you automatically. Not that it was hard to do before, but now it's even easier. I need to pull that in just a little bit more. Let's just do that again. This was before. see what the waveform looked like before here in gray, and this is what D-Clip is synthesizing to replace it. Again, good stuff. 
And that is Restoration Suite version 1.6. This is a free update for existing users, so go over to acondigital.com to get it. There's also a free demo there if you don't already own Restoration Suite. It's a great program that can fix all kinds of problems with your audio. Go grab a copy and check it out. Thanks for watching.